bad fan experiences. Do you have any really bad fan experiences? Really bad fan experiences? I had this problem in Spain, so I was giving a talk, and after the talk, a bunch of people came to me to like sign like uh, autographs and like talk about the things I was saying in the talk. But the space was going to close, so I only had like half an hour to be with the fans. So a lot of people who were waiting for a lot of time couldn't actually reach me, and this guy got very very angry with me, which wasn't really my fault. I just had to like get out of there and he grabbed me for the um from the arm and he was like you're not gonna go like anywhere and he was like it was kind of like violent but in the end it, it was fine like a couple of girls like helped me at the conventions you know that's like the one place where everyone knows who you are i've had the fans come up where they assume that they can grope you because some other girl was comfortable with it but with me please please ask please ask girls before you do that and i've had one guy i was wearing a dress thank god i had panties on he thought it was okay to like wrap his arms around me for a photo, which it was, but then he like slid it lower and tried to put his hand inside me like an oven mitt. At Avian, having people come up and touch me without asking. I was feature dancing and this guy convinced the club that I was feature dancing at that he was my boyfriend and he knew my real name, so he was like, screaming my real name while I'm on stage. And then I was like, dude, you gotta leave. And he was like, no, I wanna stay and watch you dance. I'm like, only if you're throwing $100 bills can you stay. So he threw $100 bills at me, so I let him stay. I mean, you'll always get the guys that will like constantly DM you on Instagram and like, be like, hey, what's up? Hi, I love you, you're beautiful, and you don't respond, and then they just end with like, bitch. The only bad experiences that I have with fans are like via email or fucking via Tumblr questions, goddamn internet trolls, just saying shitty shit, you know, trying to get a rise out of me. Hi Kayla, how much do you charge for a solo foot fetish custom? For 30 minutes and for 60 minutes, thanks. I give him a price quote at a very reasonable rate. Why would I pay that much for a custom? I'm not ordering a custom from Kim Kardashian. Jeez. It's okay, thank you. I'll just keep downloading your videos for free. So if you're gonna go around tweeting that I'm a dickhead, this just proves what a dumb, dirty whore you are. I can always open a new email account and order whatever the fuck I want from whoever the fuck I want. You're obviously so busy getting fucked in your ass like a dumb, dirty dog that you obviously didn't think about that. You're the dumb fuck. You're the sick fuck. Next time, use your stupid ass brain. Seriously, get a life, you dumb slag whore. Started out wanting a custom, and next thing I'm the dumb slag whore getting in the ass. I've just had people like on Twitter just be like really weird and annoying, and then I just block them. I've had like my Instagram has been hacked. I've been bullied like on the internet, like just stalked and bullied. Instagram's horrible. Like I don't answer Instagram DMs because people just, just are like completely rude. I have this one guy that harasses every girl that does interracial, but he harasses me like the most. He's been trolling me for years. It makes me sad that he's so sad in his life that he can't find anything better to do. I'd say my worst fan experiences have been racist people on social media who are upset that I'm having sex with black men. The most notable of which was someone who had some kind of a vendetta against women he perceived as white women he perceived as being willing to fuck black men, but not Mexican men. So he berated me for being willing to fuck black guys, but being prejudiced against Latinos. And I was like, you don't, you don't know me. You don't know all the Latinos I fucked. <laughs> I have a lot of fans keep asking to meet me and they don't, I keep saying coming, come to conventions is the only way to meet me and they don't get that. They think the character that I'm playing is like real and they really want to take me out on a date and they like keep asking me out like, oh, like when are we, when can I see you? Like, when are you coming here? I had one guy who made like a fan page for me on Twitter and on Instagram and then he got like really rude to me when I wouldn't send him stuff and then he was just being very not like threatening but very openly like fuck you basically to me after i wouldn't send him pictures and stuff like i forced him to make a fan page and then all of a sudden i owed him some shit for doing that one day it was years ago one day i was sitting at home and um i had a roommate at the time and he comes to me and he's like yo there's someone at the door for you asking for georgia and i'm like huh 
And he's like, some girl. And I come and I fling the door open and by then she had like ran down the street. And I was like, what are you talking about? There's no one here. But he's like, look over there. And like across the way I could see her standing behind a light pole peeking around the pole. I've been followed home before. Um Twice, actually. I had a fan, not even in LA, I had a fan follow me into a parking garage. Like, he saw me walk out of a bar, recognized me, started screaming my stage name in my face. And I ignored him, I just walked away, and he followed me like four blocks back to my car into a parking garage, and I had to turn around and just explain to him, like, listen, like, it's not okay. This is, clearly this is not okay. He was apologetic afterwards, but it was like four blocks of him just screaming my name directly behind me and until he gets into the parking garage. And I'm like, dude, use your head right now. I actually had a fan that figured out where I lived and he just stalked me outside of my house for like two months. Like he would give me money and shit. Like he wasn't mean or like nasty or anything like that. He would like genuinely just like loved me. He would stand outside and just ask for my picture. And after a while, I actually ended up having to move because I did not want him to know where I lived anymore. My first year in porn, I had a fan that became obsessed on Facebook who started sending me dead porn star memorial videos and pictures of coffins and car explosions and telling me he couldn't wait till he could help me pick out my coffin. Then the most recent terrifying fan experience, I had a guy who was threatening to kill me live on Periscope, me and my best friend. We ended up having to go to the FBI and he's now in prison. I've had to report people before for posting beheaded bodies to my social media and telling them, or telling me, that um, that's gonna be me one day. I did have a fan follow me around uh, Bad Bath & Beyond once, seriously. I was walking through the store, this guy would not stop following. And finally, as I'm about to walk out, he walks up and he's like, I know you. Whenever fans feel like they wanna give me something that I don't want, like their semen or something like that, that's always very freaky. Flowers, great, present, awesome. I don't need your semen. A guy found one of my photos was geotagged. And it was this weird, like, sort of passive aggressive kind of niceness that was like, he, he like, sent me this email and he was like, hey, I just wanna let you know that it's like really easy to find your address. And I just wanted to let you know that that was out there. And I was like, oh, cool, that's really nice. Uh, thank you. And then he sent me flowers to my house. So that was really kind of creepy. My little sister's friend who used to hang out with us found out that I was doing porn and he decided that he was going to try and blackmail me and he was going to tell my mommy if I didn't sleep with him. Sadly for him, I told my mom right away and she was completely fine with it. Hi, I'm Josh. I live in Portland, Oregon, and I recently found out I'm a Kimberly Kane's downstairs neighbor. So was wondering if there's any chance she wants to hook up, maybe a movie or anything like that. I'm 23 and white and hung like a Tic Tac, hee hee. But really, what do you think? P.S. True story, here's a pic of the front of my apartment for proof. <laughs> <laughs>